<laughs> well played, more like well paid. My nigga, you just got roasted! Yeah! Yeah! What is up everybody, it's Raging Fury 555 here today and we are going to be looking at one of the most OP strategies of all time. So I've been seeing a lot of people using the balloon hog rider free strategy and I've been hearing that super OP. So we're going to be trying it out today and I'll show you guys how it works like we'll we'll mess around with it and play around with it because I before um, using a strategy I was using the giant minion horde like barbarian strategy with, with the rage spell and I got actually the 2577 trophies but after the update I started getting wrecked and I dropped all the way back down here which is pretty sad but we are going to try it out today and we'll see if it works well or not and yeah so let's go hop into a battle uh, let's go let's go basically uh, so we're going to be up against a level 7 which isn't too hard but um, you never know, um, don't, um, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, right? So, we're gonna drop down some Barbarian to start off, um, maybe some Archers behind it, and we're gonna leave, uh, shit, um, Fireball, boom, there's a lot of damage done right there, um, getting a little bit of a good push here. Archers are doing great work in that tower, and we have gone to tower all the way down to half health, which is pretty good. We place in our bomb tower, do some defense. Um, I always recommend to have some kind of defensive building in your deck. If it's either the bomb tower, Tesla, um, or even just a uh, what's it called? Even just a. Um, Goblin Hut or Barbarian Hut is good. I wouldn't recommend the Barbarian Hut though because the Barbarian Hut costs a lot. So I would not recommend using the Barbarian Hut, but you can do whatever you want. So he's going to get a good push off the right side, but we got some Barbarians going down the left lane and we'll see how much work they can do. Pekka pops up. The Pekka's going to do some big damage um, and our Hog Riders is going to get destroyed basically by the Pekka. We're a minute and 30 in, not doing too bad, but we're going to place it in the bomb tower. Um, going to wait for that minion horde to pop up. And I'm about to sneeze right now. Jeez. Um, minion horde is going to take out the P.E.K.K.A., take out the Dark Knight. And this, the minion horde is a really good card for defense. I would not recommend it for offense because too many people bring arrows and just a waste of elixir so we're gonna try to balloon now and we can try to use a free spell any minute right here boom take out the ice wizard not too hard take out his elixir collector and he's gonna free spell us wow what a bitch so we're gonna drop down the hog rider and see how much work we can do here and we're gonna take out the tower boom that's how you do it and minion horse taking care of the P.E.K.K.A. So another strategy that's been popular is the P.E.K.K.A. strategy, but it's so easy to counter as um, Royale Russia would say for my clan. Um, the P.E.K.K.A. strategy is incredibly easy to um, counter, and there's really nothing hard about to counter it back. So we're going to drop down a fireball, four seconds left, he can't really win the battle, so we're just going to play around a little bit. And we have won the battle. So we'll hop into a, one more battle, I'm pretty sure. And try and get a little bit higher of a level to face us because, um, um, so you can see that it works. Because I was a level 7, so he wasn't too hard. But we'll hop into another battle and you can see how well the deck works. 
So let's go hop into a match. Waiting and okay, so we have matched up against a level eight. So it is fair now and let's see how much work we can do here. So we're gonna drop down the bomb, oh, no, not the bomb, the bomb tower first. Play some defense. Um, I should have actually gone into the offense because he placed down an elixir collector, which means he was down on elixir. But no worries, we will catch up. Play some barbarians in the back. I always like to play very slowly in the beginning of the match. And don't just rush out there because when you do that, usually does not work out well. Um, he's going to place on the goblin barrel and he's going to do some work there. But we have a little push going on here. And we're going to free spell and our barbarians are going to do a ton of work. And we're going to get down that tower down pretty low. Uh, almost down to nothing. And we are winning the match pretty well right now, and we're doing it incredibly well right now. And as you can see, the strategy works really well. Put down a minion horde right here. Um, take out the musketeer, take out the bomb, and the giant is going to do some work on us. No worries, our barbarians will take out the giant, and we are good to go. We can go on the counter push, play some archers. Um, He's going to play some Musketeer, that's going to be no problemo, and our archers are going to take him out. And we'll get the tower down, I'm pretty sure, here, or not. Um, hmm. And we're going to place on a balloon. Yes, let's try the balloon strategy. And, uh, freeze right here. I'm going to take out the tower, right there. Boom, we have already are in the lead. One minute remaining, place down a bomb tower, play some defense. Um, fireball, take those goblins out, and it's pretty close right now. Um, I should use my hog rider more, so we're gonna use our hog rider actually right now. So, or not, I'm not sure we should yet. Um, take out the musketeer first, place the hog rider down. Get that hog rider in, you know, and he's going to place a Tesla to counter us. No problem, we'll place a free spell. And it just barely caught the main tower, which is pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to play some defense again. Uh, place a fireball, and we're not going to be able to save that tower right there. So we're going to go into overtime here, and it's pretty much tied up here. But we're going to go with the ultimate combo, the balloon hog rider combo. So let's see if it's going to work or not. Um, we'll place a freeze down right here. And our hog rider is going to do some work. And our balloon, I believe, will get a hit off. And we are just about to win. We just need to get a little bit more damage off of him and then we will win the raid. Um, pretty intense right here. Will we win or will we lose? Um, I am not sure right now, but we will try our best. 30 seconds remaining. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this or not, but we will try our best. And we'll place a fireball right there. And oh, we got it. Boom, we have won the raid. And we have use the ultimate strategy, the balloon hog rider strategy, and as you can see, it works out incredibly well. Um, I'm not a very good Clash Royale player myself, I will say that. Um, I mean, I'm okay, not the best player, but, um, you know, I don't gem, so it's harder for us people that I don't gem. And we can buy some cards from the shop right now, get some minions. The giant and as you can see I have no legendaries right now um, no prints no dark prints no poison spell so uh, basically I don't gem so I don't have the best cards I don't have the best um, epics level 1 epics here um, not the best epics and I have the damn level 3 expo, which I do not need at all. And it's my only epic that's level 3, which makes no sense at all. But 
as you can see, um, the strategy works out pretty well. Um, try it out for yourself, actually. I want to see how you guys think about the strategy because I know a lot of people in this clan would probably like the strategy. It works out really well. You don't need to be really skillful to use it. Um, just need to have that good free spell placement, you know, right time um, placement and right place. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Um, subscribe for more content and I will see you guys later. Peace out.